former chairman and CEO of Lockheed Martin, and uh, uh, I'm an aerospace engineer by training. I am a rocket scientist, but uh, frankly, I wouldn't fly on that rocket I designed in recent years. <laughs> you lose your touch. <laughs> I'd never met Norm Augustine, but uh, at the time, he was the CEO of Lockheed Martin. And he offered to host a lunch for me where he invited uh, business and community leaders from all over the region to give me a chance to talk about my vision for the university. And it's, uh, it just had an enormously positive effect on my startup as, as, as a president. And I've just always marveled at his thoughtfulness in reaching out to somebody he didn't even know, but knew had an important position to help them in that, in that way. Norm is, uh, has a unique combination. He's very talented, he's very capable, he's uh, very, very bright, and yet he has a, uh, a niceness about him, a, a common touch. Uh, he's at home with presidents or prime ministers or with factory workers, and he has this unusual gift to immediately make people feel comfortable uh, and good. Norm is really a rock star in, uh, in, uh, with university presidents uh, because of his phenomenal contributions to advancing uh, higher education. And um, I'd also say he was the absolutely perfect board member. I was asked uh, if I would serve on the board of the American Red Cross. Uh, the board uh, is, at that time uh, was made up of people appointed by the president and people uh, who were long-serving members of the Red Cross and uh, came from the chapters, uh, uh, kind of a variety of individuals. And so I, I was sort of one of the uh, business-related people who was asked to serve. And of course, I was happy to do that. You know, as I think about uh, Norm, I, I, I've come to believe that service is in his DNA. I think of Norm as my exemplar uh, of a life well-lived in service to our nation. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter whether it was in the public sector or the private sector, uh, what he has done to advance the common good is just extraordinary. There's a sensitivity to people, and I think all that's translated in that no matter what position he's ever been in, he's always been deeply involved with the community and with organizations that do wonderful things. And he feels an obligation. I just think it's an innate attribute that he has that he wants to give back and make people's lives better. The, the Red Cross is really a timeless organization. It uh, performs a time, fills a timeless need. It, it's a different cut of people uh, who are concerned about helping other people and are willing to devote their, as Elizabeth Dole always used to say, that uh, all she had to ask people for was their time and their money and their blood. And other than that, there, it was easy. <laughs> but uh, the, I just found it rewarding, so I stayed with it and I was asked to stay. Uh, and uh, how, how do you say no to the Red Cross? <laughs>